first sunrise on sugar cane, one of Louisiana's oldest and largest cash crops, was more than 200 years ago. Squint and the fields look much as they must have appeared then. But the industry has grown and matured and now generates over 32,000 jobs in Louisiana. refining processes, disease-resistant plants, consistent use of environmentally safe farm practices, and vital scientific research all contribute to the industry's success. Today, Louisiana sugarcane has grown in more than 20 Louisiana parishes. But the impact of sugarcane is felt by all Louisianians as the industry contributes more than $140 million to the state's economy each month. That's $1.7 billion per year. Louisiana's sugar cane industry today bears little resemblance to the process first developed 200 years ago in what is now downtown New Orleans. Etienne de Boré and Antoine Morin first granulated sugar on a commercial basis in Louisiana in 1795 on de Boré's plantation near what is now Audubon Park. This plaque at St. Louis Cemetery No. 1 memorializes de Boré. In the Cabildo, another plaque commemorates Norbert Rilieu. Forty years after de Boré's initial success, this French-educated black creole developed the vacuum evaporation process. A significant improvement over the open kettle method. This new process was far more fuel efficient and produced more, higher quality sugar. These factors combined to produce greater profits for sugarcane growers and sparked an unprecedented economic boom in Louisiana. Almost all the sugar grown in the United States before the Civil War came from Louisiana. In any year during that period, the combined sugar output of all other states was less than 5% of Louisiana's. Now over 400,000 acres, about 9 million tons of sugar cane are grown annually, more than ever before. That yields over a million tons of sugar. Today, Louisiana sugarcane is grown in four distinct regions. Along the Mississippi River, north of Baton Rouge to New Orleans. Along Bayou Lafourche to the Gulf of Mexico. Along Bayou Tesh from Lafayette to Morgan City. And south of Alexandria to the Bayou Tesh area. The process of planting and growing has changed a great deal in 200 years. Tractors and specialized machinery have replaced oxen and wooden carts. Most tasks are now automated, though many farm families still plant cane by hand. In late August to early September, stalks of cane are planted end to end in shallow trenches and covered. Sugar cane does not grow from seeds. It sprouts from the ring joints called nodes on the cane stalk. During the summer months, cane normally grows as much as an inch a day. Farmers harvest cane in the fall, a year after planting. A specially designed harvester cuts the mature cane and stacks it on the ground. The cane is then burned to remove the leaves. The sweet pulp inside remains unscathed. The cane is loaded into special cane trucks or tractors and brought to a Louisiana sugar mill.
sophisticated machines test each load of cane to determine its sugar content. Four samples are taken and weighed. Lab technicians then use a high-pressure press on the core sample to separate the sugar cane juice from the fibrous pulp called bagasse. After filtering, a saccharimeter is used to test the juice for sucrose, or sugar content. Test results determine the value of each load and how much the farmer will be paid. After being cored and weighed, overhead cores